Darnell, your bag is so ugly. Yeah, your bag is disgusting. I don't like the point of this holiday. I think it's dumb. Well, my girlfriend likes this holiday, so do I really have a choice? Nah, bro. You don't. Uh, what well, is that supposed to mean? Well, I don't know about y'all, but I think this day is beautiful. And you want to know why? Because there's so much love in there. Nah, sit down. <laughs> Anyways, what even is that? Man, love's an intimate feeling that you have towards someone that you admire. It is a crazy, strong feeling that drives you crazy like... Like my girlfriend? Excuse me? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyways, you missed one... One anniversary out of the whole year, and then all of a sudden, you're the bad guy. Dude, anniversaries happen like only once a year. Exactly, Andy. I'm too precious for a man to forget about the day that he met me. Period, yeah, bro. And if you loved her, you wouldn't forget. Mm -hmm. Hold on, who said love improves your memory? Anyways, I don't know why you bothered to answer my question, Darnell, because love is non-existent. Andy, you're tripping. Love is an action. When you love someone, your actions for them change. You care about them more, you think about them more. You make me want to throw up more. I agree with Diego, but I still think it's a deep feeling. I'm starting to think, we don't even know what the word means. People just throw the word around. Man, it's funny that you say that because we're all created out of love. According to 1 John chapter 4, verse 16, and we're all created out of God's image as well. Uh, I think I can live without love. What do you mean you think you can live without love? That's like saying you can live without God. And yeah. that would be saying Patrick can't live without me. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but for real, mankind just can't live without love, Andy. Well, I never understood love, so I guess I wouldn't mind living without it. And it's ironic how I was born on this day. Like, but you just never had those moments where you just spend a day with your dad, just doing all your favorite activities. Or even those times when y'all just sat in each other's presence and talked about life and what it's really made of. Bro, I miss those days, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I never had my father in my life. Man, listen. Our Heavenly Father loves us unconditionally, so you don't need a father figure in your life. You have a father sitting up right in the heavens watching you 24-7 as life goes on. Matter of fact, he died for each and every one of our sins 2,000 years ago through the process of crucifixion. Who would do something like that? A crown of thorns, nails in his hands, and his feet. That's all love. Matter of fact, love should be spelled C-H-R-I-S-T instead of L-O-V-E. A word this generation throws around without knowing the real meaning. Mm -hmm. And you say L-O-V-E is a feeling, but the Bible itself says feelings are deceiving, so wouldn't that path be misleading? Mm -hmm. And you say L-O-V-E is an action, but the same ones who said they love me have turned around and abused me. Not physically, but mentally, leaving my mind in a psychotic state with lonely. And I can't understand how God can be loved and leave us on this planet of cruelty. Every day the news flashes with how we mistreat each other. That's brutal, see. Love has to be more than what we think. Because if love is a feeling, feelings change every day. I can love you today and tomorrow forget your name. And if love is an action, then what does the action portray? Because the same night you gave me to open my box of chocolates was stabbed in my back the next day. Ooh. And how are we supposed to give love if it was never received? That L-O-V-E has to post in my veins to make my heart beat. And I don't understand how mankind can define something and they don't know what it really means. How you going to create a definition without the creator in between? That bothers me, see. Love is the ability to sacrifice for the ability to put others before yourself. And I don't mean in line, I mean with time, so why is it such a crime to be divine? To sacrifice your ego for tender, to sacrifice and be patient instead of tempered, to sacrifice your doubts for belief, to sacrifice your silence for speech, to not be self-seeking and teach. Teach others what it really means. God is love and a sacrifice. He knew only the depth of the sun would bring us peace, tranquility, and make us free. He knew there would be no progression without pain and let them put him in chains because he would rather see us saved and give grace and I'd rather choose God over anything any day. And it's crazy how I didn't meet love so Christ found me. Even though I was in a world full of people that surrounded me. So intimate because it's within you and within me and it pulses through my veins to make my heart beat and fills my lungs with the breath of life and gives me a reason to breathe. A reason to wake up in the morning because there's still purpose within me. Destiny waiting to be achieved. So please stop saying love is a feeling. Feelings don't last longer than a week. It's like a toxic relationship that you're on back to trying to feel complete. And they say love makes you blind, but true love helps you see. Don't let this generation make you be naive, cause you to fall into traps because you couldn't see, please. Love is nails in Christ's hands, nails in his feet, a crown of thorns, but no defeat, cause he rose again and took the keys of Calvary. Love is patient. Love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrongs. 
Love does not delight with evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails.